Hey guys, this is a quick demo using Instance of Protect in order to see how we can detect remote code execution through the new infamous vulnerability log for shell And for this, we're going to be using a public repository that contains a Spring Boot web application that is vulnerable to this. So let's go on to Instance of Protect first and see the, the running application, right? We can see the Spring Boot application running right now uh, on a container that I'm hosting on the server. Okay, and we, by looking at the host details, we can actually see the security status, uh, which shows that it's running clean code. And now what we'll do is show it from the attacker's perspective, where we'll be showing the uh, execution of the command, the curl command in this case, to connect to the server and run arbitrary code, which in our case here is a malicious file. We can see the alert for it uh, and see the execution from the Spring Boot application uh, gathering the crypto miner itself, the XM rig, and actually executing it. On the right-hand side, we can see the foreign address that's actually connected to our server right now that executed the malware. Looking at the malware itself, we can see that it contains XM rig miner code along with other malicious libraries, allowing us to understand that this is indeed malicious and the crypto miner. Now, in order to respond, we can use Integer Protect to terminate the running process for the malware and we can also leverage that network uh, information in order to start blocking the threat actor that launched this malware and prevent any further attacks such as any persistent reverse shells perhaps or any other uh, commands that they can execute via this vulnerability.